In this video, we will demonstrate how to create a bootable USB drive or ISO file using additional tools. You can use a bootable USB drive or ISO file to capture, restore, and test your image. You can create a bootable USB drive or ISO file while creating and capturing a dynamic image. For more information, see the video titled, Capture and Restore a Dynamic Image Using Image Assist. Optionally, you can also use the Additional Tools option to create a USB drive or ISO file for testing your image. In this video, we will see how to create a USB drive or ISO file using additional tools. To begin, on the Image Assist homepage, click the gear icon and then click Additional Tools. In the Create USB Drive or ISO file card, click Create. First, Let's see how to create a bootable USB drive. Select Bootable USB, connect the USB drive to the system, and then click Create USB. Ensure that you select the correct USB drive. The bootable USB drive is created. Remove the USB drive and click OK. While creating the bootable USB drive, the images in the Driver Packs folders are also created. To restore and test the image, save the dynamic image in the Dell Images folder and the driver packs in the Dell Driver Packs local folder. Now, let's see how to create a bootable ISO. Select Bootable ISO. By default, the ISO file is saved in the primary drive. To change the path, click Browse, select a folder, and then click Create ISO. The bootable ISO file is created. You can use the ISO files for testing your image in a virtual machine. However, it is recommended that you test your image using a physical system. You can now use the USB drive or ISO file to capture, restore, and test your images. For more information about Dell Image Assist, go to dell.com forward slash image assist.